What's up guys, this is Louis, and today I asked myself a question. Is it possible to use the iPhone 4S on iOS 6 as your main phone in 2017? So the, the task was this. Can I take all the apps that are on my phone, put them on an iPhone 4S, and uh, do what I need to do on my phone in an average day? And we're going to see if that is true or not. So I think I'll post a screenshot of the apps that I that I use so I don't have to hold both phones here and we'll put that off to the side. So getting right into it here. So iOS 6 in terms of your average cell phone things that are built in. Like for instance, calendar is going to work perfectly. It's going to load up fast, you're not going to have issues. Uh, iMessage is going to work fine. Your camera is going to work fine. I mean it's an iPhone 4S camera. Not perfect, but still 1080p. Um, maps should work fine, and this is Google Maps built in, so you don't need to download Google Maps. That's one off the list. Um, weather should work fine. Um, maybe it'll ha you won't need to download a weather app then. Um, yeah, uh, Passbook. I don't know if people actually use that. Notes, all of that. iTunes, uh, App Store should all be fine. Of course, your phone, your mail, your music, all of that. All that works. Safari you might have trouble with though because it's a bit of an older browser um, but that's just the way she goes. So of the daily apps that I use these are the only ones I was able to install on here um, because all of the other ones required iOS 9 or later so that is most unfortunate. So that was the case for Snapchat um, Hot Schedules, which I use a lot, uh, Google Photos, Battery Life, uh, and some more. So first off, let's start here. We have Twitter. Twitter is an older version, but it works just fine. Um, it, you actually get the favorites back that you used to have back in the day. Um, and as you can see, um, there's a little bit of lag, but once you, once you get into it, it's actually pretty smooth. Um, about as smooth as I would say is on my iPhone SE. So, pretty cool. Next up, Instagram. Instagram also works perfectly. Um, as you can see, these apps that are loaded up in the background too, so that even works. So, works perfectly. Um, you have the older style too, if you like that. You are missing out on some of the new features, but honestly, I think the new features just add weight to the, to the program, make it more annoying to use. I kinda liked the way it was back in the day. Anyway, Instagram works perfectly. Spotify, I'm actually not logged into Spotify because my account is linked to Facebook and it's really annoying to log into on here, but Spotify works perfectly. I have another 4S, which all I use it for is Spotify, so it works great. Uh, next up, we have Facebook. Um, Facebook does work. I'm not going to try to show all my personal information. Uh, make sure and go like Magic Date Ball mobile app on Facebook. Anyway. Facebook works fine, might just be a little bit slow because it's a 4S. Uh, GroupMe, you can install GroupMe and log in, but you can't do anything. So GroupMe is a bust. GroupMe does not work. So that is unfortunate. And Netflix, Netflix uh, does work. We have actually the new, we have the new Defenders that came out today, so I'm going to try to probably watch that later yeah got a notification about that anyway Netflix works fine so you want to watch that big downsides are YouTube snapchat um, group me not working I use group me all the time um, but those are some bit those are some big apps that do not work on iOS 6 also magic Jake ball does not work on iOS 6 either which is also one of my main apps of course um, if you don't know, Magic Date Ball is my own app that I made, but I did not make it compatible with iOS 6. So, in terms of 2017, you can use an iPhone 4S on iOS 6 as a phone, but other than that, you're kind of limited to this in terms of third-party apps. There are a few games that still work, I think, but you're pretty much going to be high and dry in terms of new features and st stuff that is still supported. That is the unfortunate truth, but I still think iOS 6 is one of the best iOSs. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.